We now have a new set of benchmarks and detailed specs for Naples, AMD's upcoming super chip, which essentially is the server variation of Zen. Now, these specs have just made their way onto the Geekbench benchmarking website. This is the second entry that we have for the Naples engineering sample. Now, this new entry, which is actually dated yesterday, which is September the 29th, does show something really interesting, which actually could have implications for the desktop version of Zen, that AMD have actually managed to squeeze even more performance out of the chip, with a multi-core score of 16,957, we're looking at an increase of 13% over the same chip that was just recorded a few weeks ago. Now the benchmark was run on a 64-bit Linux kernel, which is fairly common for servers. And the nomenclature attached to the engineering sample gives indication that the chip features a base clock speed of 1.4 GHz and a boost of 2.9. Now, one particularly interesting part of the spec is the cache. Naples features an absolutely huge L3 cache, half a gigabyte large in fact, which is absolutely unprecedented in the industry. Now, obviously this is for a server, but just to kind of put this in a bit of perspective for you, a desktop processor will have about eight megs of L3 cache. And as I said, this is unprecedented in the industry, so this is pretty damn huge, even for a server CPU. Now it's really interesting, especially since AMD have actually been out of the high performance server arena for quite some time. This is their first entry into this particular market with Naples. It is the very first high performance enterprise processor since it introduced the 8 core Orochi SoC and the Bulldozer microarchitecture in 2011. So basically it's been many years since AMD have entered this market and they are entering it with an absolutely monstrous L3 cache. Now I said a few minutes ago that the fact that they're still tweaking and mis messing around with the silicone and still squeezing extra performance out of the chip of Naples obviously means they're still playing around with Zen. They're still tweaking it, they're still getting as much juice as they can out of the chip, which obviously means that the same could be said of the desktop version. So while we do have some specs and some sort of indication of how powerful Zen is going to be, it's safe to assume that we can expect the actual retail version of that chip to be even more powerful. We can expect some real information to come about Naples in November when AMD will talk about it at the supercomputing conference this year. And of course, it is going to be shipping commercially to the server market in Q2 of 2017. So it's safe to say that both Naples and Summit Ridge, which of course is the desktop version of Zen, are looking absolutely monstrous and I'm really curious to see what the final performance is of the desktop Zen given the fact that they're still messing around with the server variation still squeezing more performance out of it does point to a similar increase on the desktop version whether or not that will happen only time will tell unfortunately but I think they probably will if they're still messing around it probably means they're still messing around with Summit Ridge as well thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time